I thought this could be an interesting video. Emmanuel Mosley is a very underrated player, but I would say he's underrated for a pretty valid reason. If you look at his pro football focus grades year in and year out, the grades are solid, especially, you know, I mean, you know, three out of four years, a grade right around 70, you'll definitely take that as a corner. But to me, the clear damning stat in all of this is uh, multiple seasons of sub 500 snap. Um, you know, one of those, he had 499, but still uh, a couple years where he hasn't been able to really rack up a ton of snaps and his career high is just 807. So it's been a playing time. It's been a getting injured thing that has kind of hurt him, which is why he took this one year deal sort of as a prove it year uh, type situation with the Detroit Lions. But you know what? I'm always a fan of if you're trying to be competitive, which the Lions currently are right now, take guys on one-year prove-it deals, right? That's usually a good strategy because, uh, again, low risk and very high reward. One year, six million. Uh, if you get good cornerback play or even decent cornerback play for that, it could be uh, you know, a great move. And let's talk about what kind of cornerback play I expect they will get from Mosley. First, let's start off with a play like what you see on the screen. So what's going to happen here is you're going to have uh, you know, Mosley running a one-on-one -on -one matchup against a wide receiver. It's, or it's actually tight end. Uh, a Fant is going to be running just a, a, a flat route. That's how this is going to work. While this is eventually going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup, it's his own coverage. So it's not like this is what he's supposed to do at the beginning of the play or anything like that. And I think one thing that I feel like Mosley does a very good job of is just knowing his role in a defense, right? When this play begins, I love how he is not staying too far deep. He's currently, you know, at around a 26 yard line. I mean, you look at the other side of the field, uh, you know, Ward is currently at like the 29 yard line. So there's, you know, he's playing a little bit closer in and he's doing it due to the situation. He looks forward, sees, that, okay, Matt Calf is kind of cutting right here. And he also knows there's help with Metcalf. So where's the ball going to go? It's going to go to Fant. As you see, Mosley runs over and he's going to be able to make that quick tackle and be able to not allow many yards on that play. So, okay, I guess he gave up a catch if you, you care about that stat, which I don't think many people do, but he did a very good job of not allowing them to get the ball down the field. And of course, that is what you look for at the end of the day is a corner who's just not going to allow you to attack that side of the field too frequently. You know, last year we saw far too often that when corners for the Lions had to make plays, they weren't able to. Mosley is someone who can consistently make plays when he's on the field. Heading over here, this is another one that I would say was a very good play from Mosley. This is a one-on-one -on -one matchup covering DK Metcalf. I mean, that's difficult, right? I mean, you basically feel like no matter what kind of receiver you have going up against Metcalf, you're going to have a tough time. But watch what's going to happen on this play. Right off the bat, you're going to see Metcalf, and I guess the one maybe negative in Metcalf's game is you could say he doesn't cut the best. Obviously, he has that infamous uh, three-cone drill, but I still think he's good at it. I don't think, you know, I think he's improved a lot. Uh, just, you know, a three-cone drill isn't necessarily uh, the best indicator of NFL success. But anyway, uh, you see that, you know, when this play begins... Mosley gets himself to be in pretty good position. He, you know, right now when Metcalf is starting to cut, Mosley is there and ready to come in and try and make a play. He's reading this well, but there's still space he has to cover, and that's what makes this interesting. Can he cover that ground in time for the ball to, you know, before the ball gets there? And Smith is reading this play well. He's already in the throwing motion right now. However, Mosley does run in. He is able to break up that play. Just a really good job from Emmanuel Mosley, these are the kind of things he is capable of and what he can do consistently for the, uh, for the San Francisco 49ers. Now, I want to talk about some negatives, and first I gotta say that, you know, I don't know why this footage is as blurry as it is every now and then on NFL Game Pass where I get this footage, it just sort of happens, I'm not really sure why, uh, but kind of got to work with what I have. I wanted to show this play though, it's an example of him getting beat, because listen, as a corner, you're not always going to win, but his losses don't really seem that harsh. Like, something like this, it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. The receiver he's going up against quickly gets that inside leverage. And, you know, again, could uh, Mosley maybe have been a little bit more physical at the line to not allow this to happen? Maybe, but that's not really his game. That's not really what he does. Because at a good angle, it's a pretty easy completion, and you're able to get a first down right there. But you know what? Those are tough plays to cover, and I'm not really going to kill him for it too much. It's a tough play, and you know he did what he could there. It just wasn't quite enough uh, due to the good route and good uh, you know angle given the concept. So for Mosley, those are the kind of things that uh, you know 
he's capable of getting beaten. That's why I wanted to show it. But it's not a disaster. And he typically doesn't get himself way out of position, which is, again, more than I can say for some of the guys playing corner for the Lions last year. And also, something like this is a great example of what he can do well as well, where it's going to be a cover three zone. You have a receiver running a deep route, and Mosley's going to eventually be covering him. Watch how one display begins. You see it right here. Again, this is kind of where, you know, uh, I think just getting yourself in position comes into play. Mosley definitely has the mindset of he doesn't let guys get behind him. He almost never is a step behind players who he's covering. And sometimes that opens him up to get beat underneath a little. But as I've shown before, uh, he does a very good job of coming back in and being able to make plays that way. But now because he has, you know, sort of a step on the receiver he's covering, it's a good spot. Now, Panthers quarterback is going to say, you know what, let's just uh, see if we can make something happen. Let's throw this ball anyway. That's It's Baker Mayfield. That's what he does, right? And Mayfield actually makes a you know really uh, almost a catchable ball there. Again, it's DJ Moore. You're trying to make something happen. Uh, so that was uh, you know good stuff for Mayfield and Moore, but better defense for Mosley. Unfortunately, this was actually the play he got injured on, which is definitely uh, tough to see. But as a whole, these are the kind of things I feel like Emmanuel Mosley is capable of. Now, I think it's fair to say, okay, so how good does that make him then? If that's the kind of thing he's capable of, uh, what can he bring to the Detroit Lions? And the answer has to be, we don't really know. I don't think you can sit here and say, oh, he's definitely going to be great for the Lions uh, because, you know, he has struggled to get on the field and things of that nature. Uh, but the one thing I would kind of always say is that when it comes to cornerbacks, what you kind of want is just plenty of guys in the room. And that's kind of why I liked them. Instead of going out and just getting like one dominant cornerback, they kind of went out and made sure they got a couple of guys who they felt like could play. They got Cameron Sutton and they got Emmanuel Mosley, guys who they feel can just help fill out that cornerback room. If they have to, you know, have Will Harris or, you know, Jerry Jacobs come in and play, well, okay, then that's what they have to do. But you at least have better options, you know, on the table, uh, which is, you know, I think smart. So I really like these kind of signings because yes, there's a risk factor, but the reality is cornerbacks are so fluky year in and year out. There is always a risk factor. Even if you get, you know, Jalen Ramsey has had bad years, right? It happens where even the best corners in the league have down years at times. And so, you know, why not get a guy who doesn't really have down years, just has some injury issues and hope that in a new situation, you can get a full year of him being healthy. And if they do, that could be a massive steal and would add way more value than just the $6 million that you're spending on him. So uh, yeah, to me, I think this is a very good move by the Detroit Lions. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts on Emmanuel Mosley to the Lions? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.